salsa, bubba. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna start it off by saying I've seen the comments, two or three people who are not keen to seeing uh, the baby on video or hearing the baby in the background. Listen, I have a kid, okay? I have more than one kid. Um, and the little one really needs my attention at all times and I'm willing to give it to her. So I'm not gonna apologize for her being in the background. I'm not gonna apologize for her being on screen. Most people actually enjoy it. If you don't like that, then maybe this video is not for you. I'm gonna tell you that right now, okay? Okay, I love you anyways, and I'll see you guys on the next video. With that said, let's talk about the BoxyCharm price increases. I've been meaning to do this video. I've seen the DMs. People wanna know what my opinion on this is. Uh, I've seen the DMs, I've seen the comments. I wasn't avoiding it. I got the news, <sighs> what was it, Friday maybe? Like I got an email, and I was completely blindsided by the information and the price hike and all that was provided via you know via email and i was just like wait what and honestly i didn't feel like addressing this or talking about it in that moment and i'm being as transparent as possible and i'm talking to you guys not as an influencer not as someone that gets pr not as an active charmer i'm talking to you like as your sister or your friend your neighbor who has similar interests as you do i chose to not film the video and straight up just enjoy my weekend um i had a long weekend ahead of me and i knew for a fact there was nothing that i could say to make you or anybody feel better a i don't work for boxy charm b i had no idea this was happening and c i have no idea what's gonna happen in the future this video is not to sit here and hype you guys up and tell you stay subscribed don't cancel because there's so many amazing things coming your way i can't tell you that because i don't know that for sure <laughs> so as transparent as possible, this is what it is. The Lux box is going to be basically 60 bucks now. What? I know, what? When I read that, I was like, what? Okay, oh, mm -hmm. that's more than um the FabFitFun box. Ow! Girl, we're having a serious conversation here. Thank you. That's $10 more than the FabFitFun box. And the premium box is going to be 40. Now, you know, I feel like I'm in the middle because BoxyCharm is a brand that I absolutely love and I've always had them in my heart, like number one. Um, but at the same time, I see what you guys are saying. I see your feedback. I also have to consider as a paying charmer that I've been up until about a month ago, how would I feel? So as a paying customer, I'm like, what? So we're looking at an additional $5 a month for premium because base remains at $25 and then an extra every three months, an extra $10. I'm okay with the price hike, okay? But my reaction was, what? Because I wanna know what it is that we're really getting in return. So, so, so there's a series of reasons why the prices are going up. The, um, the postage is going up, so to mail it, it's more expensive, which it's true. BoxyCharm is not the only brand that's going through the price increase for mailing their uh, subscription boxes. Uh, Ipsy's going through it. Uh, other brands, Try Beauty Box is going through it. They raised their prices. There was a series of things. The price to mail them out is more expensive. The pandemic is playing a role in it. We're, we're basically two years in. And, and then um, we're also looking at, well, you guys want more makeup and that's gonna allow us to do that. For that price increase, cause I am considering reopening my subscriptions because I miss the events, okay? I miss the events. I'm considering opening my subscriptions all over again, but here's what I wanna see for that price increase. I want our boxes to arrive on time, not the PR. PR always comes early, but I want Charmer paid, paid members to receive their boxes earlier. Like, as early as like, everyone should have them by the 15th of the month. Like, that's my thought process. No one should wait until the 30th. There was one time that it was like the 29th of the month and I hadn't received my paid boxes. So for the price increase, I think it would be fair for everyone to get their boxes earlier. I don't know how realistic that is, but this is what I would like to see to be comfortable with paying the additional money. Yes, I want more makeup. Yes, I want my boxes to arrive earlier. And quite honestly, I would love to see better personalization. That's long and short of it. And I'm gonna tell you this, I think that people are blaming Ipsy because, oh, well, they bought off BoxyCharm. Ipsy's personalization is amazing. And honestly, I've always received my paid Ipsy early in the month. So one, you know, like Ipsy versus BoxyCharm, Ipsy has had their stuff down pat. And now that Ipsy purchased BoxyCharm, I think that we are going to see improvements. And I've said it behind the scenes to certain people, so I'll say it here. I don't think the acquisition was a bad idea. 
For the longest, charmers have been asking for BoxyCharm to release an official app, but Ipsy has one. For the longest, charmers have been asking for better personalization, comparing it to Ipsy, saying, well, Ipsy will allow you to choose two items for your Glam Bag Plus, and they're listing six, seven, eight products that I can choose from. BoxyCharm is not giving you that many options. And so I feel like no one likes change. I don't like change and that's okay, right? Because we all kind of have to go through that wave. But I feel like in the long run, we're going to see these improvements. I think that it just makes sense for a, an app to be released. It makes sense for the same personalization tools that are being used for Ipsy to be used for BoxyCharm. You guys are already seeing a lot of the products that were in Ipsy uh, in BoxyCharm and then vice versa. A lot of the products are being uh, cross-referenced, so I think it's a matter of time. I definitely think it's 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 a waiting game for us to see all the improvements and all the changes. So if that all were to happen, then it's totally worth paying the price increase, in my opinion. I know that my feedback, in my opinion, kind of seems scattered all over the place, but I'm just <sighs> comparing Ipsy versus BoxyCharm. I'm trying to revisit so many comments from you guys and then the feedback that we're getting from BoxyCharm as to what it is that we are going to see. And that's all that I can really come up with in my mind. I hear everything that you're saying, everything that you're explaining to justify the price increase, but also what are we gonna get in return realistically for these price increases? I'm literally saying what I would love to see happen. I'm saying what you guys would love to see happen. So hopefully it is something that comes into fruition and we actually see it happen. Now this price increase is supposed to take place as of November, so we will see in November what happens. We will see what the boxes and variations look like. And then I guess we can revisit the situation at that point. And lastly, I wanted to mention next Monday, the 11th of October is when the event uh, are gonna take place. That is when you'll be able to choose an item for your box. I don't know if everything is gonna look the same or things will look slightly different. It, time will tell. However, I do know that they've made some changes to the pop-up store and the add-on event. So we'll see what happens with that. I'm actually pretty curious. I kinda wanna open my subscription just so that I can see what that actually looks like and to see whether or not there's a difference. Let me know if you guys think I should do that and then um, I can definitely like give you guys like feedback based on my experience. But you guys have to tell me now so that I can uh, like actually reopen my subscription with enough time. Okay guys, that is it for this video. It's so like unofficial. I was filming something else. So unofficial. I just really wanted to come on here because I'm not avoiding you guys. There's nothing to avoid really. It is just my opinion, my feedback, my thoughts comparing everything that's going on without actually recording anything. That's just what it is. But as always, I want to hear you guys' thoughts, so make sure you give me your feedback in the comment section down below. And don't forget to tell me whether or not you want me to uh, like reopen a subscription. Look at this event and the choice situation and see if there's any difference or not and give you guys my feedback. I would be more than happy to know that. And that is a wrap up for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. Why you look all mad? Why you look all mad? You want your bubble?